Welcome back to Nebulous and Menace. Today we are covering missile seekers and soft kills. So we are going to walk through our seeker types. All, all missiles have to have a seeker. If they don't have a seeker, they won't do anything. The smaller missiles can only have one primary seeker. Larger size 2 and size 3 missiles can have a choice of a primary seeker and a secondary seeker or a validator. The secondary seeker works that if the primary isn't finding anything, the secondary can find something in its own seeker cone. The way validators work is validators inherit the seeker cone of the primary and then use their own sensors to validate whether the target is a valid target. So that helps you get less uh, seduced by chaff and flares and other decoys. So let's walk through the seeker types. The command receiver and the fixed semi-active are your FOX-1 style missiles. They require guidance from your fleet in the form of either a bullseye radar lock or a spotlight illuminator for a semi-active. The three variations of active radar seekers, the fixed active, the steerable active, and the steerable extended active are your FOX-3 style that have their own radar on the missile itself and find their own targets. The anti-radiation seeker is your harm style seeker. It can be set to choose all emissions, jamming only or radar only. Electro optical sensor is a sensor that discriminates based on ship target type. If you fire it directly at a track and that track has a specific ship class, the EO sensor will only look for ships of that class. And then wake homing is your standard FOX-2 rear aspect. It is short range, uh, but very good as a validator because it gets the longer range of your primary seeker. For secondary seekers, kind of all the same options apply, but then you can choose the validator. So wake, EO, ARAD, and command are very commonly used as validators. Uh, in the primary seeker here, you can ex set whether to accept or reject unvalidated targets. Generally, I set this to accept because if you find something and find no other targets, your missile will stay, still aim at it. If you're looking at multiple targets, the validator will help with your target discrimination. All right, we're going to show a quick diagram here of how the seekers relate to each other in range and seeker cone type. So starting from longest range, we have the steerable extended active radar seeker, 5,000 meter range, and the widest search area. Uh, technically, it has a narrow search cone and a steerable angle that moves it back and forth, but it does have a wider effective search range. Command and the semi-active radar homing are both 4,000 meter seekers. Command technically is not a seeker with a cone, but 4,000 meters is the range at which the corkscrew or weave terminals will start. So I grouped it here for simplicity purposes. Anti-radiation and electro-optical are both 3,000 meter sensors. And both of those have the special properties we talked about for target discrimination and validation. Uh, the standard active radar and steerable active radar are sh your shorter range sensors, only 2,000 meters. Steerable active has the narrower cone, but steers to a wider angle. And then wake is your cheapest, shortest range sensor. It has a wider cone as a secondary, and that wider cone is often used on anti-craft missiles where it's quite useful to help find targets. But the short range is why it's often used on a validator with the longer range seekers here because it inherits the cone of the primary seeker and uh, then per performs validation on targets in that cone. So that's why uh, wake, ARAD, EO, and command are often used as validators.